Today I want to talk to you how to shred 7 to 10 pounds of fat from the lessons that I've learned of being a student for this last belly burn. So tomorrow is my actual last day of the belly burn. So today I'm actually cutting out my carbs for one day, but realizing that, hey, I'm gonna need a little bit of carbs just to be able to function for myself, for the workouts that I plan to do, but also for the people around me. But it wasn't always like that. So guys, if you're looking to get into the next belly burn and you want to have your body as your canvas, then go to www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn. Now, first of all, just like every other student that does the belly burn, if you were in a gaining phase, it's so difficult to cut calories and start your weight loss journey, especially when you've been in gaining mode. So imagine yourself driving down the highway and all of a sudden, you know, you're going 100 kilometers down a highway and then you decide that you need to stop and go back because you forgot your cell phone at home. Well, you would gradually slow down you would gradually make a turn and you would gradually pick up speed to gradually go back to where you came from. Now, the same needs to happen when it comes to losing weight. And we often think that, hey, you know, just because I jump into a four week challenge that I've been gaining weight seven to seven to eight pounds in the past 60 days that I should be able to lose 10 to 15 pounds in a matter of a couple of weeks. And this is the mindset that most people have when it comes to starting a belly burn challenge. But the thing that we have to understand is that your body, your metabolism, your muscles, they're all built around higher caloric ranges. And so for you to lose weight and to lose fat, we have to cut calories. Now I progressively cut calories and I started my cut about four weeks ago. But prior to that, I was actually gaining weight. My goal is to put on a little bit more muscle, a little bit more size so that when I do cut down, I'm not as light as I was the year prior. And in fact, that's where I'm at right now. I put on eight pounds of muscle in the course of 52 weeks. It didn't happen overnight, but in the past 60 days, I've actually put on about three of those like eight pounds. So for me to do any kind of calorie cutting was actually extremely hard. So the way that it worked was week one is that I reduced the amount of takeout and snacking that I did. Okay. So what does that mean? Is that I love to go out to eat. Okay. My favorite is the 24B at Watch Street Bistro. As most of you know, I love to go there at least once a week and then snacking. When the kids have food, Neri makes them these delicious like grilled cheese sandwiches or macaroni and cheese or turkey bacon and toast and the kids never eat it all. Okay. So what I had to do is instead of eating that, like I normally do, I still track it, works within my macros, but instead of eating that food that's you know higher in calories, higher in carbs, higher in salt. What I've been doing is just packing it up into a lunch container and bringing it for their lunch for later on. So the first thing was to go from one to two times a week of having takeout to going to just once a week. And that's where I would tell you to start. So instead of just cutting everything out and expecting yourself to lose the weight right away, I would say do a gradual reduction of the habits that you know that are conducive to you losing weight and dropping fat. So that might be, I remember talking to one lady and she used to drink two bottles of wine before, you know, every night. And so for her to be able to make the membership work, she actually stopped drinking two bottles a night and she only stuck it to the weekends. Okay, now that two bottles a night, if that's what you're doing, that's a lot of calories and that's a lot of empty calories. So maybe for you, instead of going to two, you go to one in week one. Phase two is that I made it regular. So I keep my calories at my target and I eat out once a week if necessary, okay? So phase two, meaning that instead of me doing random calories, so for instance, when I was gaining more size, I wasn't worried about how my body looked, how my physique, how tight my abs were, okay? I was more so focused on how much did I see that I was gaining without gaining too much in the fat column, okay? So there were times where I would eat 3,000 calories according to my fitness pal. There's times where I'd eat 4,000 calories and then maybe on a Saturday I might do five or 6,000 calories depending on how many calories I burnt throughout the week and how hungry I was that day and how depleted I looked in the mirror. But for me, it was more about making it consistent. So I stabilized my calories. I kept my calories between 2,000 and 2,500 calories versus the 3,400 calories, which is, or 4,000 calories, which is a big cut. And so at that second phase, I leveled off my calories so that I can now get my body used to being in a routine of a reduction in calories. So for you, week one might be just cutting out the things that you know aren't adding or s reducing them. So instead of two bottles, you go to one bottle, okay? So instead of eating out twice a week, you go to once a week. Instead of going to Starbucks five days a week, you go down to every second day. That's it, just a simple. The second is now, okay, let's set a caloric budget. OK, 
okay? Now you need to find those calories where you feel like you're losing weight and you feel like you're not starving yourself and overeating after a few days of being in that calories. And so we need to stabilize your calories into phase two. Now into phase three, this is where you wanna ramp it up, okay? You wanna increase the amount of activity that you're doing, focus on active calories every single day. So a lot of people, when we do these belly burners, they are barely burning. Now everybody burns differently, but there's certain people that maybe have extra weight that they're carrying around, that their heart rate is higher because their body has to work harder. And so what ends up happening is they should have a lot more active calories. So if you're only getting like 3000 steps a day and you're burning 200 active calories, well, you need to step that up big time. So what I would tell for you is find out how many active calories you're doing on a regular day. So that might just be one workout plus work and whatever activities. Now figure out how you can burn more active calories by about 250 per day. So that might mean that you've got to do a morning workout, whether that be a virtual from home, which would only take you 15 to 20 minutes, or maybe you add an extra walk on your lunch break. But either way, we have to find a way to increase the amount of activity you're doing. That might be an AM, PM workout. Then we need to focus, and what I did was made protein my main macro. So before, my at the very week of it, my, my Calories were all over the place. They're higher, but they're based on how I'm looking. I wasn't really focused on a specific number. The second week was now, okay, let's isolate a number that's going to reduce my body fat and help me to lose a little bit of weight, but not so much that I feel like I'm starving and you know, you know, know, feeling like I'm super deprived and I can't eat out. So eating out once a week. And then this third week, now we've got our caloric range. We're in a deficit but now you're gonna make protein your main macro. So half of your plate of calories, not so much half of like, you know, what it looks like, but there's very little calories when it comes to uh, vegetables. So when you're eating like a potato or fries or whatever it might be, you always wanna make sure that you're getting more protein than you are of a starchy carb and then tons of greens to, to fill up the rest of that plate. So that's a simple concept. And then the last week is where you absolutely kill it. So you're gonna increase the amount of activity. So if you're normally burning 500 active, now this third week you've ramped yourself up to 750 active at least three to five times a week. Now you do 750 active calorie burn for about four days of the week. And then the other three days, you might jack that up to a thousand active calories. This is where we want to do a gradual reduction throughout the week. So if it's a seven day, Sunday, we start our calorie cut Monday, Tuesday, or the same Wednesday, we further reduce Thursday, Friday, we further reduce. And then I like to do the chicken week on three days out. So that's where you're basically just eating plain chicken, uh, oats, and egg whites, and it's just like high protein, very little carbs, and what this is gonna do is gonna dry you out, it's gonna give you a tighter look, and basically your body's gonna use the protein as fuel, and it's also gonna dip into your fat stores. So into that final week is when you absolutely kill it. So that's what I learned of how I was able to drop seven to 10 pounds. So as of today, I actually dropped seven pounds. I haven't weighed in. I feel like from yesterday to today, I did a big fast yesterday, massive calorie burn. I feel like I'm down in at least another two pounds. That's how I'm feeling and how my clothes are fitting. And so we go hard into that final week where you absolutely kill it. So if you're looking to drop those seven to 10 pounds and you're want to keep it simple without having a coach to tell you exactly what you need to do every week to week, I just broke it down from you. You need to reverse diet. So some of you might be into the clean it up phase. Okay. So if you just finished the belly burn, you might be in a clean up phase where you go back to your week one of macros. But for you, since you just spent the last weekend, like crushing a bunch of carbs and calories, you might just need to clean it up and stabilize yourself. Then once you stabilize yourself, you just focus on the food because you're probably already working out the second week, you ramp it up the third week, you absolutely kill it. And then you scale back down. So you go from clean it up, ramp it up, kill it, to ramp it up, to clean it up. And then you continue on this until the next belly burn, which if you're looking to do, make sure to visit www.fitclub.fit, send us a message, mention a belly burn, and then we'll put together a plan for you.